The last few decades have had the same effect on our vehicles that quarantine has had on me. You know what I'm saying? We got a little bit thicker, but you know what? That's all right. Seriously though, if you were to compare some older cars to the newer cars on the market today, you would notice a significant difference in overall size and just lack of a better term, girth of our cars today. Take our very own E30, for instance, a four door three series BMW from the early nineties, nice and small, a little cute, feels like a go-kart when you're driving it and compare that to a new three series BMW today. And it's quite the difference. This has also been the result of cars today, typically coming from the factory with a little bit more horsepower and some larger wheels and tires. And as us car enthusiasts naturally do, we tend to ditch that stock wheel and tire setup as soon as possible to help fill up those wheel wells a little bit more. Usually meaning that we are going up not only in diameter, but also width. Switching to a larger wheel and tire is nothing new. However, with the combination of cars getting wider and the popularity of wide bodying said cars, we have seen some absolutely insane wheel specs rolling around, which has led us to the question, are wider wheels and tires better? And how wide is too wide? What is going on everybody? Jealous from Fitment Industries, and we are going to be covering just that on today's episode of Myth or Fact. Real quick, before we get into it, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, it helps us out a ton. And if you haven't turned on your notifications yet to get notified whenever we upload, what are you waiting for, man? I mean, do you really want to miss out on content like this? So why does front wheel drive get so much hate? This light's long too. Oh my God. Like up here. Can you guys hear this? My face feels crusty. Other than that, don't forget to check out the giveaway we have going on right now with our very own wheel brand, Artists of Wheels. We also paired up with Fortune Auto Suspension and Continental Tires. It's a pretty big deal, and we are making a donation at the end of this giveaway to reach out worldwide. You can check out all of that, as well as wheels, tires, and suspension all over at FitmentIndustries.com. Anyway, it seems like we've just accepted this mentality of the bigger or wider, the better. More wheel is going to equal more tire. More tire is going to equal more grip. I want, you know, the widest setup possible, but you know, is that all true? And is going with a wide setup worth it in the end? Well, let's just dive right into it. Go back, three, boom. Just like most things, there are going to be advantages and disadvantages to pretty much everything. Let's go over, you know, like the fun part. First, the advantages of going with a wider wheel and tire setup is that yes, we will be providing your car with more grip and more traction, which can improve your overall handing and quartering performance. You are creating more of a contact patch with the ground, which is going to cause friction as well as grip since friction technically equals grip typically with a wider tire you will get a stiffer sidewall as well depending of course on the brand and type of tire that you are going with advantage number two is that because of the extra friction and grip you will be able to put down more of your vehicle's power to use increasing your overall acceleration however this is going to be only beneficial for those vehicles and applications that have the amount of horsepower that is necessary to do so. And then we will touch on that in just a second. That's kind of a big point. Advantage number three of going with a wider tire, as much as the extra grip can increase your acceleration, it can also help with slowing your car down. Remember, grip is the same as friction, and the more friction a wider tire can help decrease your braking distance. Advantage number four, it's probably gonna look amazing. There is just something about a wide wheel and tire that us as car enthusiasts tend to just lose our damn minds over. When we see a 14 inch wide wheel on the back of a wide body 370Z, you can't help but think, that's a goddamn like truck wheel. That's a 20 by 14 wheel. And that tire is just about as wide as I am. And I think that it all stems from the fact that when we were growing up, you know, when we were little car enthusiasts just running around, going to the car shows and the drag strips and stuff like that, we were watching all the generations above us with the big muscle cars, the drag cars, the big tire usually meant more power. That car was putting down some pretty impressive numbers and it was cool. You know, it was aggressive. So now when we see a meaty tire setup, we automatically tend to think that that car means 
business with that type of setup. I mean, you look at tires like the Michelin Sport Cup 2, the Federal 595 RSRR, the Toyo Proxxus R888, with their aggressive tread patterns, they just look so damn good, especially when the first letter of that tire size starts with a three. So you can get better performance with them, you're more connected to the road, and they look badass. What is the issue? Are there any disadvantages when going with a wider setup? Yes. Remember when we were just talking about the fact that a wider tire can provide more grip and improve your acceleration? Yeah, but do you also remember when I said it only matters when they're on a vehicle that has enough horsepower to need that wider tire? The fact of the matter is, yes, a wider tire will provide you with more grip, but if you don't have the horsepower to require that amount of grip, you're not going to be doing yourselves any favor. In fact, you're probably going to decrease your acceleration, if anything. For our everyday cars like my own FRS, for instance, I don't really need anything larger than one step up from the factory size to achieve more performance. For cars that fall in this category, the performance you see gained from switching to a larger tire is not exponential or even linear for that matter, meaning that the performance gain that you see from stepping up one size is not going to be doubled by going up another size. As you can imagine, going with a wider wheel and tire is going to bring additional qualities with them as well. One thing specifically, is the weight. They are going to weigh more, especially tires. More rotational mass means that it is going to require more horsepower to make up for that. Obviously, if you're jumping from, let's say like 300 to like five or maybe 600 horsepower, yeah, maybe, you know, go with something a little more wide. The fact of the matter is unsprung weight is a killer to the acceleration performance of your vehicle. And unless you have the horsepower to back up going with such a wide setup, you're not going to see a bump in your acceleration or performance. They also decrease your fuel efficiency, but I mean, pfft. <laughs> Jalopnik actually did a great test when it comes down to showing firsthand how much of an impact a wider wheel and tire setup make on a car in multiple factors and conditions like acceleration, braking, wet and dry conditions, and of course, you know, how large the tire was. I'd recommend checking it out, but basically what they found is that it is very dependent on the vehicle and what you're looking to obtain out of that vehicle. It can vary so much from car to car, but in the fact of the matter is, if you're looking for a little increase in handling and performance out of your car that is making stock or near stock horsepower, maybe you got some simple bolt-ons or something like that, going up one size in your tire will help and it's usually recommended. However, if you just dumped an LS into your Miata, you might wanna go a little bit further. So we'd love to know your thoughts down in the comments below if you had any experience of going with maybe too wide of a tire or maybe just not a tire that wasn't wide enough. And let us know what you'd like us to see cover next. I'm Gels from Fitment Industries. Don't forget to check out wheels, tires, suspension, and the giveaway we got going on right now. It's kind of a big deal. Fitmanindustries.com. Otherwise, you can check the links down in the description below. We'll see you guys later. Peace.